Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So, in the nugget, um, we just finished reading. Uh, there was a UFO sighting that uh, had gone on around Christmas Eve time period, and uh, apparently it was um, about four yellowish orange lights uh, going over top of Trout Lake, and they seemed to have appeared to come from the Red Ridge area uh, toward Trout Lake, and um, at least this is what's been explained in the nugget. And uh, there is a picture, by the way pretty cool. Um, military still haven't responded, um, although the guy apparently did send the pictures in. Um, and he sent them to, uh, I think it was Transport Canada as well. Uh, but anyway, still no response there. But likelihood, um, you know, has something very curious going on. Um, he was explaining how they were um, basically hovering and then they had joined into a formation and then, you know, took off and then eventually, you know, faded out of sight, I guess. Um, now, I've seen lights in the sky myself uh, coming over top of my house from Lake Nipissing across and, uh, you know, it would come up and around and then just, you know, go around towards either the Red Bridge area or some other um, direction as well. I've, I've told you guys about that in other videos and um, I've also seen ones where the light would fade out. Um, could be just because too too high up, you know, who knows. Um, but um, the other thing was also another sighting in Ferris of beams of light that were actually coming down from the sky to the ground. Now, um, a lot of people, apparently this guy too, also knows, you know, what a spotlight is like and what it looks like and how it would light up, and that's just not what this was. Um, so it's got him a little curious too, and he put in his report, and you know, it was you know it's really great to be able to read these things um, you know and to be able to see some things once in a while um, things are definitely getting cooler out there as far as you know coolness uh, it's a neat not cold weather but um, it's getting pretty cool um, and sightings seem to be picking up again um, the last sighting I saw was in the summertime um, and uh, you know like uh, fallish time you know fall summer fall time um, so that's pretty neat um, you know, I, I would love to have been there to see this stuff, uh, especially with the, the lights. That was really cool. Um, but um, anyways, I thought I'd let you guys know, uh, you know, we got more UFO sightings going on here in good old North Bay. And uh, really interesting stuff. And it uh, be neat to see more and more stuff. Uh, I'm definitely going to be starting to go outdoors a lot more at night on the clear nights. Um, last night was actually pretty nice, but... Uh, with the day I had, I just didn't feel like going outside, and it was getting a little cold, um, you know. So uh, I'm gonna start spending some some more time outside at night and checking out the night skies in my area, and uh, might even do some touring around. Uh, but uh, anyhow, uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, you can check the nugget online for this too, and uh, read the write up, um, what uh, the people are saying up there, and uh, you know, judge for yourself, you know. But um, you can rule out a few things uh, right away, like Chinese candles, for instance. You know that you can definitely rule out completely um, because they're definitely not going to put themselves into a formation and go off into another direction. Um, real controlled aircraft have a capability if you are in visual range. Uh, the new FPV gear is actually a virtual headgear um, type of setup. Not really virtual; it's actually real because there's a camera on the the aircraft and um but you would not be able to see your other uh players or flyers um uh, and be able to get into a formation okay so even though they do have an incredible range on them um with these uh gadgets you wouldn't be able to do that so that kind of rules out radio controlled toys or radio controlled aircrafts of any kind uh could it be something military who knows um that's questionable light beams of light shooting down from the sky to the ground they're definitely not spotlights that's interesting too um you know it's kind of hard to say on that one haven't had a lot of uh, experience on that one there uh but uh hey anything's possible right and there's been more and more uh ufo sightings uh this past year uh than you can shake a stick at all over the world uh so anyway um like i said check out the nugget online judge for yourself uh you know, read what the, the people are saying up there, and uh, we'll catch you on the next vid.